So you will agree. It's true. But you're more in touch with your primitive nature since you chew up everything that you think has food on it. Like all my work clothes have holes in them. That's really her uh, brother that does that. Close-up on the tranny cat. The male cat that acts like a woman. That's right. Because he's always whining. And he is so freaking needy, dude. He's so needy, oh my god. Anyway. I got that painting at Goodwill for like $3. And I really like it because it's like, you know, like, pretty, like, decrepit. The more decrepit it is, the more likely I am to adopt it and, like, appreciate it in a way that it's never been appreciated before. God, if you don't stop playing keys, this is my song, bitch. <laughs> She's like, to hell with your song. by the pharmaceutical companies considering the fact that George Soros is a significant shareholder in Monsanto and Monsanto just got bought out by Bayer, you know, that popular pharmaceutical company. So you have to wonder, what are they trying to do? What they've always wanted to do? I think not. And that's not because I think the cannabis is bad. I think the people are bad. And I think the people are very, 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 very stupid. It's not 
because I hate kids, but I hate this world, and I would kill anybody that would even think to try to touch my kid. And I think that parents need to have that kind of attitude, 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 attitude. Nobody's protective. Here's the thing, the reason, once again, with the phones, y'all. People are actually protective over culture. They were protective over America or they're protective over their children and their mindset and everything. Like they would have like full on body armor, like every single time they check the internet for any reason, you know, they would have suspected, oh my goodness, like what if, what if technology is advancing and in response to that, our society is growing dumber and dumber every second of the day, you know, how is that going to look in the future? How is that going to look for the children, the youth that has to grow up in that culture? You know, like, why am I one of the few people that from the very beginning could see that that would be a problematic future? Why? I mean, it just, that is what pisses me all the way off. I will totally admit it that I do get very, very livid when I think about it because I just... I guess they thought that George Orwell was kidding or something. Um, you know, like I think about all of the people I went to high school with that read that book at the same time that I did, and they didn't like the book because they thought it was depressing. And all the sheep in my class, you know, they, they just, they hated it. They were like, man, it was so terrible. And I was like, why did you think it was terrible? Because that shit's going to happen. And of course they were like, Amy, like you're so crazy, you know. But... I mean, I'm obviously not crazy. It's it's the world that's crazy. It's society that I live in that's crazy. If I lived in fucking India, all those motherfuckers would worship my ass, okay? They would because I'm a shaman and I'm also female and I'm in touch with my instincts and women are supposed to be intuitive, you know? We're supposed to chase that, not run away from it and take an antidepressant and then whine. Whine, 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 that's all they do. But anyway, I've been called a prophet by enough people from all walks of life to just come right out and say that I'm a shaman. And then looking at, you know, the research that I've done on mental illness for like the past 20 years and how, you know, I thought that I bored my personality, but I like, you know, did a lot of work on myself and just asked a lot of questions, did a lot of research, smoked a lot of weed, took a lot of long walks with God, cried a fuck ton, punched a lot of shit, threw a lot of shit, you know? There's been a lot of stuff that we've done to, I was gonna say progress, but there's been a lot of stuff that we've done to success, okay? We want to be the best person that we can be. And there's no way that we can do that without having to work on ourselves extensively. And so, anybody that's done that, has the right to call themselves some sort of medicine man because the true medicine is is loving yourself enough to do something positive. And by that, I mean doing whatever they tell you not to do. Just, just do the opposite of whatever authorities tell you and then you'll be good to go.